Hello, my name's Charlotte and I teach the Children's and Family Yoga at Ironstone Wellbeing in Kettering. Today we have a very special session for you. It is dinosaur yoga. Before we get started, I would just like to wish Louise a very happy birthday. Hello, Louise. She comes to my sessions every Thursday and is the happiest, smiliest little girl you'll ever meet. So, hello, Louise, and have a very lovely birthday. And thank you for practicing all my videos at home. Your mum has told me. So, let's get on with our dinosaur yoga. Ready? So, our first dinosaur is going to be a pterodactyl. So, standing up nice and tall, and we take our arms all the way up into pterodactyl. Well done, pushing the shoulders down, imagining they are our wings and we bring them all the way back down. Breathing in, all the way up, and breathing down, all the way down. Well done, excellent. The next dinosaur we're going to do is Brontosaurus. So Brontosaurus has a really long neck. So turning sideways for this, we're going to take our hands up into the air for Brontosaurus. So bending that front knee, straight back leg and into Brontosaurus. Lovely. Stepping the feet together and then the other foot back and Brontosaurus on the other side. Well done. Nice and tall. Try and keep your balance as best you can. Bending that front leg and stepping the feet together. Well done. After Brontosaurus, we're going to do a Tyrannosaurus or a T-Rex. So nice and wide with our feet. We're going to bend that front leg, sending our arms out to the side. The Tyrannosaurus was one of the biggest dinosaurs. So bending that knee, stretching the arms from side to side. Lovely for our Tyrannosaurus. And then taking one foot in and the other foot out the Tyrannosaurus or the T-Rex on the opposite side. Well done. And then after the Tyrannosaurus, we're going to do the Pteranodon. A Pteranodon is another flying dinosaur. So standing on one leg, get yourself nice and balanced, arms out to the sides for our wings, taking one leg back into a Pteranodon. Well done. And stepping feet together and Pteranodon on the other side. Lovely. And stepping the feet together. After a Pteranodon, we're going into Brachiosaurus, another dinosaur that has a really long neck. For Brachiosaurus, I'm going to bend that front knee, take the elbow down onto the knee, sweep the arm across into a side stretch. So stretching that top arm all the way away from you for the long neck of the Brachiosaurus, bending that front leg and then coming all the way up, lovely. Turning that foot in and the other foot out and then we bend the front knee and sweep the arm across for the long neck of the Brachiosaurus. You can look down at your foot or up at your top hand, it's entirely up to you. Excellent, and we come all the way back up. After that, we've got the Argentiniosaurus. So, feet are apart, turn one foot out, and we go down into triangle pose. So try and look up at that top arm if you can, or you look down at the front foot. So this is Argentinosaurus. Well done. Excellent, coming all the way up, turning the other foot out, and we go down into our triangle pose again. Lovely. Well done, everybody. And we come all the way up. After that, we've got the oviraptor. So we come with our feet together, hands above the head, and we sit down. This is our oviraptor pose. Lovely. Into a pretend chair we're trying to sit down into. Hands are stretched up above our heads, nice and strong. Excellent. And straightening the legs. Well done. After the oviraptor, we've got the velociraptor. So for velociraptor, similar to the oviraptor, we're coming down, but we're bringing our hands down this. So we're going to try and sit down a little bit further into velociraptor. Well done. So sit down a little bit further. Arms are out like this as if you're holding two skis and straightening the legs. Well done. After that, we've got the Diplodocus. The Diplodocus is another dinosaur that has a really long neck. 
for this, we're going to take our hands all the way down to the floor and lift our leg in the air. Well done. And place that foot together. And the same on the other side, lifting the leg into the air. And down. Well done. Now after the diplodocus, we're going to be a paleontologist. Now a paleontologist is a person that finds and digs out the dinosaur bones and fossils, okay? So we're coming down into a nice deep position like this, nice squat position, as if we're digging on the floor for the dinosaur bones and the dinosaur fossils. So for our paleontologist pose. Well done. Now after paleontologist pose, we're going into an archaeopteryx. Okay, so we stand up nice and tall. One foot behind, one foot up. Now as we bend our leg, we're coming up onto our tiptoes on the back and going into a nice deep bend. Well done. And then we step the feet together and step the other foot back. Hands above the head and we go all the way down. Lovely. Coming up onto the tiptoe at the back. Excellent. And stepping the feet together. Well done. After that, we're going to the Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaurus. So similar to our Diplodocus, but we're going into dog stretch first of all. So come down into your dog stretch. Um, so we've got a wider base and we're lifting our leg up into a three-legged dog. But this is our Ankylosaurus pose. Well done and down. And lift the other leg up. And down. Well done. After the Ankylosaurus, we're going into a Spinosaurus. Now a Spinosaurus has big spines all over its back to protect itself. So we're going to come onto our hands and our feet into a plank pose, imagining we've got those spines sticking out of our backs. Well done. Excellent. After the Spinosaurus, we're coming into the Gallimimus pose. So that is similar to the Spinosaurus. You start in plank pose, and then we're bringing one foot forward into our Gallimimus pose. Well done. And step that foot back, and step the other foot forwards. Try and have the foot level with the hands. Step that foot back, and bring the other foot forward. Excellent. Well done. Step it back, the other foot forwards. And back again. Well done. After the Gallimimus, we're going into Triceratops. Triceratops is one of my favourite dinosaurs. We come onto our hands and knees and we arch the back up. So this is Triceratops and then we're going to come down into Stegosaurus. So we have Triceratops pushing the back up and Stegosaurus. Well done, Triceratops pushing up and Stegosaurus. Lovely. One more time. Triceratops pushing up and Stegosaurus. Excellent. After that we're going into the Apatosaurus. So stay as you are. Take one leg back and the opposite arm forwards. Well done. Into Apatosaurus. A very long dinosaur again. Bringing the hand and the foot down. Hand and the knee down. Send the other leg back and the opposite arm forwards. Well done. And bringing them back down to the ground. After the Apatosaurus, we're going into the Plesiosaurus. So for Plesiosaurus, we're coming down onto our tummies, reaching back for our feet. Now you can stay here if you want to, or you can push up and arch the back. Lovely. Remember, you can always stay like this. That's absolutely fine. That's our Plesiosaurus. After that, we're going back into our pterodactyl pose, which is how we started. So placing our feet together, knees go out to the side, flapping our wings up and down for our pterodactyl pose. Lovely. Just take a minute to sit nice and still. So start flapping those legs. Sitting up nice and tall, closing the eyes, and just breathing in and out. Try and keep the mouth closed. So we're breathing in and out through the nose. Breathing in and out through the nose. Now try and breathe in for as long as you can. Breathing out through the mouth this time. 
Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. One more time. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. Our last pose is going to be a baby T-Rex all curled up in their egg and just about ready to hatch out. So come onto your hands and knees and curl up into a ball, having your arms stretched forward as if you're trying to hatch out of that egg. Put your head down onto the floor or onto the mat and then just relax here. So imagine you're all curled up and cosy inside that egg, getting ready to hatch out. And then very slowly popping your head out of the egg and coming all the way up. Well done everyone. I have loved doing dinosaur yoga with you today. Let's pop our hands together. And remember we say that very special word before we go. Namaste. Well done. Oh, can you hear that? What's that? What's that? Can you, can you hear that the same as me? Oh my goodness, it's a T-Rex. 